Fast Five, brought to you by Han Superdry 3.5. And Nicholas, you know how this all works. The questions from Rugby HQ viewers. The first one, uh, what happens to the Pentagon when John O'Lance flies west to his new gigs, <laughs> digs rather, at the force? And, and Bernie's leaving, of course, as well, temporarily, to go to Japan. What goes on at the Pentagon? Yeah, I guess uh, like all good things, you know, One Direction, anything like that, we're uh, we have to split up. <laughs> So Jono's... The Pentagon is, is where you all live in the house. Yeah, that's yep. what we call our house yep. in Sydney, in Bondi. So Jono's heading over to Perth and um, Foley Sun's heading over to, to pick up some yen and we're just going to... We're going to stick together, but we're going to find someone to live in, in Bernie's spot for a couple of months while he's overseas. So the carnage continues. That's it, yeah. All right. Um, do you have any special pre-game rituals or, or preparations, any superstitions, lucky charms, that sort of thing? No, nah, nothing really special. I like to get around and have a joke with the boys, which is probably calms a few blokes and annoys some others, but it's all about sort of just relaxing and not really thinking about it too much. All right. Um, has Michael Checker produced any more inspiring talks similar to his, his golf club episode from, from last year? <laughs> just remind people of the, the golf club and the... Yeah, the golf club in the final last year, the, the mentality behind the game was just to let the club go and not leave anything out there. And he threw this golf club at the wall at, just before we ran out and it was uh, pretty inspiring at the time. It's good to laugh at now. Uh, He's had a few good ones. He's um, had a little tomahawk chopping up a block of wood. He's uh, had a mirror that we've all got into. So. What was the mirror on? Oh, just for the mirror. Yeah, yeah, just for the <laughs> Put that in Bernie's locker. So he's he's going to hate you talking about this stuff too. Secret squirrel stuff. Um, Hamish Clark wants to know, uh, what's the best sledge you've given out or received? Best, Too many, isn't it? Best sledge. Gee, you do get into it. I've been on the receiving end a few times. Um, yeah, you've never given one, have you? No, nah, never. Yeah. Just all cop it all. Uh, it's always good playing uh, James Slipper. He's always good for a few, a few good lines. I was um, once I, I was into Benny Alexander once about dropping the scrum, and then I was saying I'll make keep it up, Ben. And then Fards was straight back into me and goes, "Which Ben?" Because Benny Robbo was against him, so <laughs> oh, he, he screwed me up there. But um, no, nah, it's always good. Good few good lines out there. All right. And uh, last one, how did those lousy forwards ever manage to scrummage without your encouragement? <laughs> I don't know, mate. They need, need a little uh, bump out every now and then. They're doing so much work out there. It's always good to just be racking on the side. <laughs> That's good. Need, need the encouragement.